Hey guys, it's Nani here and today I want to share with you an amazing experience I had a couple of weeks ago when I went to see Behemoth at the Gates and Wolves in the Throne Room here in Berlin. I'm frequently going to concerts and I really enjoy because I always get a lot of inspiration, insights and I learn so much just by watching other people playing. So I thought about starting reviewing some of these concerts here on YouTube and sharing with you some cool things that happen. If you guys haven't watched it, I have a vlog here on the channel about Grass Pop Metal Meeting where I share with you my experience at the festival. I'm gonna leave a link for you around here and down below. Now back to Behemoth. This concert was part of the Ecclesia Diabolica Catholica tour and happened on the 24th January here in Berlin at the sold out venue Huxley's Neuwelt. The first band that came up on stage was the American black metal band called Wolves in the Throne Room. It consists of three guitar players, a keyboard player and a drummer. They had some pretty cool folk graphics at their stage banner which I loved. Their sound was at times very mysterious and one cool thing that I've never seen before was that the girl, the keyboard player, light up an incense on stage in the middle of the concert. I simply love incense and it was nice because we could actually smell the scent of the incense from the audience. Another very interesting thing I noticed was that the guitar player was using a blue light stuck to his guitar to illuminate the fretboard. I think this solves the problem of the darkness on stage that prevents us to actually see our instruments. I really like the idea and I want to try sometime, but probably with red light. Then came At The Gates, a Swedish melodic death metal band which actually played at Vakin last year, but I didn't have the chance to see them, so I'm really happy that I did it this time. The sound was great, their playing was very tight and they put up a great show. I love the riffs and the vocals and the guitar players were using beautiful solar guitars. Then it was time to be Behemoth. They started with this huge white cloth covering the stage and started to play at the tape the first track of their newest album, I Loved You at Your Darkness. I think the song is called Solve. And that was really cool because we actually built up our expectations for the concert. And they also projected on this white cloth the map of Deutschland with an inverted cross. Then they started the concert playing Wolves of Siberia, wearing the masks from the Ecclesia Diabolica Catholica music video. Everything was very beautiful and professional. Stage decoration, makeup, masks, costumes, firework, lighting, and even a huge triangle screen at the back of the stage. The sound was also city quality, I could hear the instruments very well. <laughs> The set list was very good, they played a bunch of songs from the I Loved You at Your Darkness like Wolves of Siberia, God Equals Dog, Bartabelle, Ecclesia Diabolica Catholica. From the Satanist album they played Ora Pro Nobis Lucifer and Blow Your Trumpets Gabriel. They also played some old stuff like Conquer All, Decade of Therion and Of Fire and the Void which I love. Unfortunately they didn't play Of Father or Satan or Son which is one of my favorite tracks and I also have one guitar cover video of the song here on the 
the channel. In case you haven't seen it, I'm gonna leave links for you around there. But guys, I just really have to talk about Nergal's stage presence here. On top of his amazing vocals and good guitar skills, he commands the stage like no one. I love the way he moves and acts, his gestures, the way he interacts with the public is just beautiful to see. I think you guys can see that I am still very inspired by him and by the concert. Now thinking about me and my personal experiences, I've actually played a couple of times at medium-sized stages and it was actually quite weird to suddenly have that much space and don't know exactly where to go and how to move around. Well, I think it just comes with practice and time, right? I also noticed that single concerts like this one has a greater impact to me than those concerts that I see at festivals, for example. I can see that the bands are not in a hurry, the sound has way better quality, I'm way more focused in this one concert and I'm not super tired from sleeping at the campsite. And I got a pick! <laughs> can you guys see it? It has a bunch of cuts on the plastic to increase the grip. It was actually a roadie that threw it to me, but I think it counts anyway. So guys, I want to let you know that every month I am doing a guitar cover voting at my Patreon page. And the winner song I'll be playing here at my YouTube channel. If you guys want to join, take a look at my Patreon page, it would be lovely to have you there. Also, let me know in the comments what was the last concert you guys went to and tell me what do you think about this type of video, because I love going to concerts and talking about bands and concerts and things like that. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you very soon. Ciao!